Dear friends, welcome to Majid Goraya YouTube channel. In this video we will understand how the RAM works in a computer. Let's clear a concept before we understand the RAM. See, what is this, friends? This is a switch, and this is LED light. Let's connect. Friends, we have created a single memory cell by connecting the switch to the LED. A memory cell can store a bit. This bit can be 1, this bit can be 0. Let's save our data in this memory cell. This is a battery cell. Let's attach this battery to this memory cell. When we need to save one on this switch and the light turns on, when we need to save zero off this switch, let's increase the number of memory cells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have increased the number of memory cells to 8. Now we sold them to the right. And on the other side, we sold it from the left. We connect them to one unit. Friends, we have created one byte memory with the help of eight switches and LEDs. You know that there are eight bits in one byte. In a bit only two values possible either 0 or 1. Now we connect the battery to this system. Our 1 byte RAM is now ready to use. Let's save the data in it. Data is coming from the CPU. Now store it on the RAM. We have started saving data. The first value is 1 so we will turn on the switch. It is 0 after that, we will turn off the switch. There is 1 after that, we will turn on the switch. After that 1 so we will turn on the switch. It is 0 then this switch will not be turned on. There is 1 then this switch will be turned on. It is 0 then this switch will be off. There is 1 then this switch will be opened. Some switches are on and some are off. We will consider the one which switches are on. We will consider the zero which switches are off. In the same way we can write and read data. Viewers our data is available on this little RAM. So let's read this data. When the first switch is on, it shows 1. Closed after this, it indicates 0. The next switch is on, it shows 1. The next switch is also on. The next one is off. The next switch is on. The next switch is also off. The next one is on. Friends we have read data from these memory cells. Which is exactly the same data that we write on it. But the biggest problem with RAM is that if the power supply is cut off, all the data in a RAM is lost. Are there any physical switches on a RAM which is turned on or off to save data? No, in a computer system this works is done by a controller which consists on many transistor. So do computer RAM also have LED lights? No, we use LEDs only this circuit for human concept it is more convenient to use capacitors in a computer RAM. Because the use of capacitors is more reliable. It take less energy and hold the current for some time. The transistors in the controller save 0 or 1 by charging or discharging the capacitor. This is way our RAM works. Transistors and capacitors in a RAM are now so small as technology has advanced that we cannot see them with naked eye. They can only be seen with the help of a microscope. We hope you understand how the RAM works. We will be very happy if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.